wish we had the double jointed elbows. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Kotobukiya statue review on the Kill Bill Volume 1, the Bride Bishojo statue. If you're trying to pick this up, you can order it right now. Big, big, big. Get your big, badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com. Click the link in the description below. And big thanks, Kotobukiya, for making this review possible. If you want to see the latest from them, be sure to check the link in the description below. Anyway, looking at the figure right over here, I like this really nice packaging where you can see right into it and you can see the face of the figure and everything. Nice image of the bride. And then on the side, we get some artwork of the bride. And then on the very back, we get some product shots of the bride. And then on this side, we get a cutout of, is this the wagon? I, I can't figure out what it is off the top of my head. And on the very top, we get another cutout. And then there's not much more at the bottom. Ooh, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's the bride out of the packaging. And once again, Kotobukiya just killing it with these Bishojos. I absolutely love the sculpted work that we're seeing this and the paint apps. I like her long legs. I like how they gave her the very long Uma Thurman legs over here. I really like the shoes even. I love the paint detail that we're seeing on the yellow. That is very, very cool. The Hattori Hanzo sword looks awesome as well. It's just a stunning looking piece. And I love the Kill Bill movies. Uh, I absolutely love those movies. Some of my favorite work from Quentin Tarantino. But anyway, let's get a closer look at the bride. So I really love the facial expression on this Bishojo. Look how mean she looks. Ooh, that's a fierce bride right over there. I really like the eyes. She has these nice teal colored eyes. I think they look very pretty. I really like the pink paint that we're seeing on them too. And the pink paint that's just kind of fading ever so slightly on her face. Uh, you can see that a little bit more as I darken things. Yeah, and the mouth looks really good. I'm really digging this hair a lot too. It really reminds me a lot of Uma Thurman's hair also. I kind of have the uh, <laughs> The stand or the base of the statue is running into my tripod a little bit, but yeah, that looks really nice. I like how it kind of just falls straight down a little bit more than anything. You know, it does remind me of Uma Thurman's hair. I really love the color variation in it too. I think that looks really good. Very pleased with that. I'm looking right on here on this side. You can see some more straggly stringy hairs falling down right there. Looking very beautiful. Especially when you're taking shots, you know, using the rule of thirds, you know, it looks really good. I like that a lot. And the Hattori Hanzo sword looks awesome as well. Can't remember right off the top of my head the exact deco, but it looks similar to what I remember right over here. And you do have to put this in her hands, so it doesn't come with it in her hands. You have to place it in there. But I really like that silver paint that we're getting on it. it looks very sharp and pointy too. But not too pointy. So that's really good. And looking on the back right here, we get some excellently sculpted wrinkles. And I love this dark, it's like a very dark brown color that they're using for the shading. It looks really nice. I'm really digging that. Looks beautiful right over here on the side as well. I'm loving how, it's, how this whole jacket is getting raised up, you know what I mean, from the pose. You can see her belly a little bit underneath right there. That's very cool. I like that a lot. You know, I gotta show off the cleavage just a little bit. You know, Bishojo's going to give us a little bit of extra cleavage. Can't complain about that at all. Very pleased, very pleased. And really nice right here on the side. Love that attention to detail with the wrinkles, man. Just goes all the way throughout right here. This whole tracksuit. And there is a big sculpted seam right over here, uh, right in the middle of the Nagas. But that, you know, I think that's appropriate. If you're going to put a seam anywhere, you know, you might as well place it where God put it, you know. Don't need to fix it if it ain't broke, you know what I mean? We already have a seam there, so. Anyway, looking at the legs, I think that looks really good. I like how the cuffs are just wafting off to the left, so it's really moving in motion. You know, I really dig that a lot. Like right over here, man, that is awesome. I love that. You're, you really get the feeling that she just backed up a little bit and raised the sword up. The ASICs look great. Nice stitching sculpted right in there. And the laces look really good. I don't know about yellow laces. I guess that could be a nitpick, but anyway, the treads on the bottom of the feet look really nice as well. Very well done. Really like this a lot, man. That is awesome. Yeah. And then it says Kill Bill Volume 1 right over there. And you cannot remove her from the base. There's no real reason to want to do that. But man, yeah, that's sick. 
<laughs> All right, anyway. Now to measure the height of this Bishojo statue, you can see that the bride is standing right at eight inches tall. And then comparing this Kill Bill movie Bishojo statue to some other movie Bishojos, we have the Bride of Chucky Bishojos, Tiffany and Chucky, and then we also have the Edward Scissorhands Bishojo. And then comparing the bride to the only other katana wielding Bishojos that I have, we have the first release Psylocke right over here, and then we have the latest release of Psylocke in her X-Force colors. And then here's the bride next to the Marvel Legends Big Time No Letdown Spider-Man. <laughs> Uh, you don't need to buy the soundtrack. You can just hire me to sing the whole soundtrack, right? Don't I have a great singing voice or what? Anyway, this thing is awesome. I really like it a lot. I think Kotobukiya, again, did a fantastic job with this piece. I really dig it. Fantastic pose. I really like this very much. And I really hope to see more Kill Bill Bishojos, especially from Volume 1. That would be great, right? Like, who would you like to see in Bishojo form, right? I mean, my number one pick would be that girl with the ball and chain. I can't remember the name of the character off the top of my head. But yeah, the girl with that, you know, spiked ball and chain, that would be really cool. Vivica A. Fox's character, she would be awesome in Bishoujo form. I mean, they could really make a lot of Kill Bill Bishoujo. So I hope to see more in the future. And I hope you guys hope to see more Shardimus Prime videos in the future. If you like this video, please go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to leave a comment down below, please go ahead and do so. Let me know what you think of the statue. Let me know what you think of the review. If you want to subscribe for more Shardimus Prime videos, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, make sure you hit the notification bell so you know immediately when the next Shardimus Prime video is posted. Gotta give an incredible big thank you to all these people over here for supporting this YouTube channel. And if you want to see a photo gallery of images, it'll be over at toynewseye.com and you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links in the description below. I'll catch you guys later. Peace! I'm gonna play with my toys today. 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 Shot, we shot, we shot in your face. I said, we shot, we shot, we shot in your face. I said, we shot, we shot, we shot in your face.